What is this like comparing it to just creating a video? Is it just a little bit more work or is it a lot more work? So as we're going through this, I'm gonna go back into the story view where we look at all of our scenes. This program is very similar to um, PowerPoint, but you, are, you already may be a storyline ace. So I'm gonna look at the distribution of the um, of in statistics, I'm gonna use some statistics software and I'm gonna look at how this created the simula, how Storyline created the simulation first and then I'm gonna show you how it was done. So I basically recorded my screen and then inserted the, um, inserted the actual stages of where the simulated software is. There's three different modes. There's the, the view mode or the show me mode that I call it. There is the trial mode where you can actually, it lets you, it creates the hotspots to let you click the individual buttons inside the software is, or actually as if you were in the software, a simulation. And then the third way is a test mode. And that test mode um, may not tell you what to do. It just says basically create this and you have to go and hunt down a invisible hotspot. So it wouldn't have this little click and drag column. So uh, the way that you create that is, the way that you create this is I'm in, running in Parallels, which is just a virtual machine on my Mac Pro, but you can use this in Windows. Is if you go to um, Slides, you wanna hit Record Screen, and it shows you that a few, the one that I cre created is already there. I'm gonna go Record My Screen. Okay, I'm gonna close, it's waiting for me to record it. I'm gonna move everything out of this little construction marquee area here. I have everything opened up inside my software application and I haven't hit record yet. I'm actually gonna make this distribution, which is this cool little bar thing here done and jump the software that I use at work. And I am going to close that, I'm gonna recreate this. It still hasn't recorded yet. All I did was hit screen um, I mean, what I did is record screen, not hit screen. Don't hit your screen. Um, and then I'm gonna hit this little red button and then I want to escape when I'm done. If you wanna know what those settings are, you can select the little gear mark and you can see that I have to select escape. I can pause it by hitting Alt D and I can use my microphone like a demo in like ScreenFlow or Captivate, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So remember, I'm in Storyline right now. I'm gonna hit cancel, I'm gonna record gives me this nice little countdown here. And then I'm gonna go and select the application. Now remember, it's remembering whatever I'm doing. So now's not the time to check email or go searching the web. I'm gonna select analyze, which is a step. It's recording my screen. Oops, and that screwed up. And hit distribution. And now I'm gonna drag over a variable and I'm gonna hit okay. And that pops it open. Now that I'm all done, I'm gonna hit escape. And that's gonna go ahead and save it. I have, if I screwed up, which I kind of did, um, I can go ahead and delete this and re-record it. But what's cool about using Parallels as a virtual machine is that I, all of my other desktop stuff is hidden. So right now I'm approximately in it for five minutes. I'm gonna go back into Storyline and here are my options for inserting those slides. I can insert one video in totality, that's just one big movie file. Again, this will be all HTML5 that's recorded as video. Um, my step-by-step -step slides is where I have those three options. The view mode, which will, um, it can provide those text cues. The try mode steps, or the test mode steps, which won't. Each one of those, each one of those three different ways of inserting these slides has some options. I can add the text cap, captions, um, which could be localized or um, exported in your specific language. Whether or not I wanna show the mouse cursor animation and indicate clicks with a highlight. I like all those things, so I'm gonna select okay. I want a new scene that's just basically a whole new package and storyline, and I'm gonna call it um, distribution. Uh, view distribution. Remember, I'm, I'm not doing an interactive one. I'm just doing the actual um, try, uh, the view, not the try. And then I'm going to insert, and it's working on creating a new scene now. So, so far, it's pretty smooth. As long as you have a clean desktop, it's going really well. So it's uh, basically loading up these things. 
The problem is it remembers everything you're doing. So you get better at this every time that you attempt it. So you wanna make sure it's only creating five slides. That's good news because I didn't go ahead and check my email or do a bunch of other things, which it would have calculated all that stuff. The real issue is, is, is this easier than creating just a video or is it just different? And I would say that yes and no. Um, yes, it creates all the stuff, but it also creates things you don't need. For example, here I'm looking at my scene now and you can see that click the US demographics jump. I don't need that slide, so I'm gonna delete it. Click the analyze menu button. That's good, that's what Storyline did for me. That was good, so I just deleted one slide and then it says click the image. That's not what I wanna put, so I wanna put distribution. So this is basically now, this is requiring me to go in and edit. So if it's a huge demo, it may be a lot more difficult. So, um, and then this one is a dip, uh, click and drag. And I wanna add um, something to this, a column. Tr click and drag a column. And there is the, the, all right. So it missed an entire step, okay? It didn't do the um, distribution. I don't see the actual distribution. So I must have missed something when I was clicking. I didn't select okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this again. So we're gonna review this. Insert, um, re I'm gonna go to record screen, record your screen. And now I'm going to close and get everything ready and I am going to, I want this mar nice little marquee. I'm gonna hit record screen. It's gonna give me this awesome little countdown, like as if I couldn't count down myself. Select the actual table. I'm in your software now, whatever else software you want. I'm gonna go down to distribution, select distribution, and I'm gonna click drag and throw one of these columns over to Y, and I'm gonna select okay. And there's the distribution. Now I want to make sure I select one of the histograms so that it actually records this information. It didn't record it before. And now I'm gonna hit escape. And it is getting ready. So the problem was before is I didn't interact with that histogram so it didn't think I wanted to record it. So now I'm gonna go here, I wanna view the mode steps and I wanna make sure I wanna add the text captions which is on by default. And I wanna hit insert, we're almost done here. It'll hopefully say six slides now. It'll say six slides. I hope you like my gas station shirt here. So it says loading desktop, that's just the name of what I called that record screen. There was a name of that, I record that. So there's the six slides, so it will show the histogram now, almost done. And it's looking pretty good. I'll probably end up speeding this up. So if you didn't click that last platform or that last SAP software thing, make sure that you do that or it's gonna leave out that activity. So recording everything is good and bad. Okay, so here is the new scene. I'm gonna go and I have the view here. I'm gonna delete the um, delete the scene that I re had recorded earlier. And yes, and now I'm gonna go into this view scene and I'm gonna call this distribution. And I'm gonna look at, now I'm gonna click this scene. Now I'm inside of the scene. It says click the demographic jump bar. Don't need that, so I'm gonna delete that slide. Click the analyze menu item, that's fine. Click, distrib click distribution, I am having to overwrite that. That is, if you multiply that by a bunch of things, it doesn't see the sub menu text. Um, and then I'm gonna click and drag. I need to add a column. Click and drag any column because a user, if they're just learning how to create a basic distribution, you can just grab any one. I don't have, I have spell check on and so I'm not getting it. The um, red mark it says click the image. Um, uh, I don't know, this is basically click okay. 
that's click OK. And now this is says click the image and I'm going to go select a histogram bar. So if you didn't know this software, you may not be able to edit these. So I just wanted to point that out. So that looks good. And then I want to put a little trigger at the very end. It says when the timeline ends on this slide, jump to go back to the introduction. That's what I want to happen. And I'm done with that. So I'm going to go back to my story view. I'm going to go back here and I am going to select this. And then I'm going to say jump to distribution one. And now I'm going to preview this entire project so that we can take a look at that project together. So is this easier? Is this harder? It depends what you want. Okay, so here's my intro screen that I created. I created that in Illustrator. I'm, hitting, I'm selecting watch. It says click the analyze menu item. There we go. Analyze. Click distribution. That's pretty nice. So I didn't have to create that text and it's you can globalize it. Um, click and drag any column. Wow, that's pretty cool. That works. And click OK, but that OK button is in the wrong location. And then it says select a histogram. So both those are in the long location. So I'm going to go back to my story view and I'm going to go to distribution one and select click OK. I'm going to move that over there. And then here I'm gonna, on my histogram, I'm gonna move that. There we go. 